We're back again. I always do that every single time. Episode 3. Boom. Starting her up. Now we sit and wait. How's your guys' day going? Previously on The Walking Dead. Who do you think did this? Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? What's the most important thing in this world? Clem, it's family. People like Matthew aren't coming back. Rebecca, our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. Ah! Go to hell, you fuck. We're going home. That. As a family. In the stomach. I do remember that. We're back. A little bubber fly. Bubber light. Let's inspect it. You about done over there? Yeah. Yeah, one second. Thanks we for coming with me. Peeing. It's scary out here. I know they made you. It's still nice that you came. We're safer if we stick together. It's gonna be dark soon. Yeah, I know. But it's cool you came. I thought they were gonna tell my dad to go with me. Thanks. You're welcome. Hey, bro, I hate, like, dookie in the woods, man. Take a poop in the woods. Ah. Oh. Everything come out all right, girls? What a weird Troy, thing to Troy, get him tied up. up. Will do. Why are you worried about we're on how our way. good we poop? Probably meat? 30 minutes out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carver out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. Nope. Froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Has anyone ever taught you that? Where's your manners? Wow. You don't want to test me, girl. I'll pass every time. Leave her alone. Yeah, no, we got to kill this Tie guy. Tie her up and throw her in with the rest of them. <laughs> now that's messed up. In. Are you guys okay? The hell did he do to you? Hey, did he hurt you? Hey, hey! Yeah, he slapped me in the face. I was just looking at him. I didn't even do nothing. I just looked at him. He slapped me in the face. That's crazy. Didn't deserve that. This is a terrible ride. All right, we got to do something. Come on. Anyone got anything sharp? Anything? We need to get these bindings off. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. 
And what good is that going to do? The hell is wrong with you people? We got to get out of here. The truck's empty. First off, we're in it, so it ain't exactly empty. If you don't want to help, then just say so, okay? I'll do it myself. We're in a fucking precarious position here. We got to do something about Settle that. Settle down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? Oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. Say that again. I'd stay out of this, boy. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, yeah. right. You're a man. You don't understand. He's different. He's worse. The fuck are you talking about? He wants to punish us. What do you mean, worse? He's a fucking psychopath now. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lodge. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. I'm trying to help. I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. That's not fair. You're blaming him for the actions of a madman. I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny, you can't reason with him. Oh shit. Jackpot. Sit down. You're going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? We've all been prisoners. Why do you think we left? Kenny's right. We have to do something. We can't just sit here. How is it the kid is the only one that sees what's going on here? Clem, the adults are talking. Is that wow. what this is? All right. Now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> there, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> At this point, maybe Luke is the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Who knows what he's dealing with? Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. You don't know that. I know he ain't here. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just leave us behind. That guy's a flake. I could tell the second I set eyes on him. Can he please calm down, please? I'm calm, Sarita. I look angry to you. I don't know, man. Luke might... Close. Know, he'll know okay, where we're at. let's do this. They have guns. What? what exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. Just sit down. Shut up, Doc. This ain't your call. Hey, just, if something happens, just help out, okay? Don't, you know, get yourself hurt or nothing, but any help would be good. Hey, okay. Clem, look at me. You trust me, right? Kenny, please, just... Yeah, yeah, okay. I trust, I trust yeah. you. Come on. I'll I'll do what I can. All right. It's okay to be a little scared, but we got to do this. All right. Everybody ready? Kenny! Uh, Kenny, are you okay? Is he okay? I think so. Oh, what hit me? It's probably for the best. The door hit him. Bro got hit by the door. Damn brakes ain't working for shit. All right, up and at him. Wait a minute. The fuck? How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. We've got some familiar faces back with us tonight. That, now, that's that one. I understand Tavia. some of you are confused as to why we bring these people back when they left us as they did. I think I've got an idea. Look how much food they have. Oh, I hope you ain't saying what I think you're saying. As many of you already know, a large herd of lurkers gathers just south of us. Come on, we need you for something. Come and wait until morning. We're all exhausted. Just come the fuck on. I need help. I need my dad. I, I can't. 
can't. He's... He looks after me. They have been taken into consideration. However, this is not up for debate. The expansion project will Not even gonna say nothing. Don't dare. Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Bill can see if you're messing with it. Just to survive, it's our obligation to make this community a beacon of hope. Thanks, Barney. Yep. To provide a light, a bright light, bright enough to shine in all this darkness. So that is what we'll do. Y'all best get some rest, because there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold. But at least I'll be comfortable. Hey, guys. Reggie! <gasps> Ew. I'm so sorry. I'm so Reggie. sorry. Reggie? What did they do to you? This could have been worse, trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. It's my fault. No, it's really not. I would tell you if it was. This happened well after you guys left. I guess I should say Reggie helped you, us but when we ran away. I know. I feel the same way. Why didn't he go with you guys when you left? I think maybe he was supposed to, but then he fell and everybody kept running. I know he had both his arms then. They got me working outside. Lurker snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Look, it was my choice to help you guys. Alvin, Carver wants you in his office. What? Why? Don't make this difficult. It's too late for that. No, please. It's okay, Beck. Just get some rest. If he wanted to do something to me, he'd have done it already. I'll be fine. Nah, he's killing him for sure. Let's see what he wants. Also, that's hey, that woman in Reggie. the 400 days. Oh. Hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. All right, let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey. Uh. Hello. Who are you? My name's Clementine. It's very nice to meet you, Clementine. Should have put my left hand out to shake his left hey, hand. Where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? Dude, Pete died a long time ago. Can you guys save it for the morning? Some of us gotta be up early. Who's that? I don't know. I don't recognize the voice. No problem. Sorry about that. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired. But, like I said, he saved my life, so... I put up with that shit. Bill put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group, so Ew. I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. I know. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. Who's she? Hmm? Who? The girl over there. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking around outside the camp covered in guts and just like the grossest shit. It's probably best not to stare. I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Yeah, it Reggie. is. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. They've even got the solar panels working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's not a competition. I'm just saying, it's not as bad as you think. We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. 
Nah, this guy's Look, insane. I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. I know that, but I'm starting to see what this place offers. I didn't before, and with the accident, it's just that much more important now. It feels more like a prison. Well, that is a very negative attitude. She's right, Reggie. Listen, I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? Nah. At least until they release me. Then, once I'm out, I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. No way. Fucking A no way. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Reggie, I don't want a second chance. I want to leave with my family. That's it. Your family is safer here. Oh, my God. I need to sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Yeah, there's water over by the benches. Ah, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. Hate that guy. Man, fuck that guy. Exactly. I don't think we can trust him. Well, no. I mean, clearly, he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I don't trust him either. He acts strange. Yeah. I guess getting part of your body chopped off can do that to a fella. You gotta take a look around. We gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. Gonna have to wriggle our way out. Sure, I'll have a look around. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. Walker just to... snuck up on you, huh? Yep, I was uh, distracted. Just wasn't thinking. There's all kinds of noise, hammering and stuff. I saw its shadow. It moved in front of one of our work lamps down here and knocked it over. Couldn't even see for a second. That's when it got me. Can't believe you survived. I can't either, honestly. But Mike killed the walker, then took off the arm. Really this quick, place seems like pretty secure. Before. Some tools to explain it, but still alive. I still think he got higher than he needed to, but what are you going to do? Huh. Fish statue? Yo. Definitely not talking to Mike. Alright, so clearly they want me to touch the gates. Oh, wait a minute. So, how did you end up with a name like Reggie? Kenny! What? I'm just asking. No, it's okay. It's not my real name. Well, my first day in the U.S., I stopped and got a coffee, and the girl behind the counter asked me my name, so I told her, it's Reggie. Then, I just stood there while a guy yelled Reggie for five minutes. And that's when I thought, I should really get out ahead of things. Ouch. That is an ouch moment. Um, we'll try to jiggle on the shutter. Hey, Clem, come on. Don't be like that. She ain't doing nothing wrong, Reggie. Just relax. How can I relax when she's walking around touching everything? I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> Time to pull on these boards. Uh oh. Clementine, please. I asked really nicely. I don't want hey, to. What the hell is she doing? No, uh, nothing. <laughs> you know, kids. They love not listening. 
You had one job, Reggie. This is real disappointing. Gonna have to tell Bill about this. Please, come on. Hey, don't be like that, man. You shut your fucking mouth. I don't know you. Dad! Bro's fingers oh, are still all messed up. up now. Bill's gonna hear about this shit. Troy, please. Fuck you, Reggie. This is setting you back a few. Get comfortable, asshole. He was trying to help. She's just a kid. No one's talking to you, Indian lady. Hey! It's fine. I am Indian. Everybody get to bed. She is Indian. Nobody's talking to you, Indian Some lady. Some folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? It's your decision. I'm ready. Of course I am. Good, good. Confidence is good. You gotta have the right attitude. Now get some sleep. We'll need it. Yeah, we, um... We're not getting out of here, bro. Oh. What's that? Bill's gonna have a word. Why am I on the ground? Wasn't I on the bed? There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herds moved a little closer as of this morning. But that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now... There are some folks might be sore about what happened, and how things went. Well, that's all in the past now. Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. But know that you can find redemption here. Forgiveness by proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. You know, Reggie slipped up last night, but that doesn't mean he should lose hope. Today will be a test for him. So let's all wish him the best of luck. How'd you sleep? I'll let Reggie be an example I to was you all. So tired. Salvation is available, but it I didn't even must realize be earned. That. Kenneth will be taking over Reggie's duties outside the walls and Michael will continue on I showing just his it was value. Nice to finally... Carlos! Yes? Your child seems to be in need of correction. I'm sorry. I... Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. So, I'm sorry, sir. No, no. That ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You discipline her now, Carlos. How do you propose that One I... One good smack across the mouth should do it. It'll make her think twice before opening it up again. Go on, we'll wait. Yeah, this is messed Wait. up. I'm not sure with my hand that I... Well, got... that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on! Not some namby-pamby thing, all right? A good hard smack. Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. I don't think you want that. He can be... Overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. Go on, Carlos. Just get it over with. Now, this is messed up. What's wrong with these people? Why do they like slapping little girls in the face so much? Anna autistic when she's sorry, autistic. Dad. I'm Close sorry. Your eyes, honey. She, it's she's only going to sting. She's for a turbo second. autistic. At least it's a left hand slap. Do it. <laughs> then knocked her over. I'm sorry, sir. Stop! You're not coddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. Troy, get Carlos to his post. She ain't even Everyone do nothing. Else have their assignments. It's time to get to work. 
And that Tavia. God damn. You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone get to work. You're working in the armory. Follow me. You know, this that this that fat man. God damn these things. Oh shit. Clementine. She done went and lied to them people. We done recruited them into this community, and this community's evil. Go on inside. Bonnie's waiting. Hey, I guess you're starting your day with me. We're loading magazines. Well, that's it. You got it. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. You but are. The plan was for no one to get hurt. I truly believe that was the intent. At least it was mine going into it. I understand you're mad at me, and you've got every right to be. But I wanted you to know I regret my part in all this. I apologize. Which don't account for much, but it's all I can offer right now. Nope. Too bad. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable. You mean my first night in prison? It ain't a prison. More of a work release. No, it's a prison. Do those in prisons? Well, I... Probably. I don't know. I've never been to prison. Don't tell no one. I'm trying to keep a tough reputation. Not funny. I'm not entertained by you. I was supposed you. to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving too. When Luke approached me about it, I, th I thought he was crazy. I mean, we're safe here. We got power, we got food. And Bill, he... He wasn't always like this. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. Take this situation with the herd? That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. No, he don't. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to be somewhere comfortable for a while. What changed? I don't know. I've been trying to figure that out myself. I mean, it ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position. Figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. Why does everybody stick up for this I'm dude? He's... What he did. Yes, that you was... are. I'm alive because of him. That's just a fact. I think he's crazy. He's... He's... Overstressed. You were literally defending it's him. It's easier to just say crazy. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but... I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Huh? I still what hate do you. you. Think? I found it at the lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for scan. Had to wait for no one to be around to get it to you. It's cool. I like it. Well, I'm glad. I thought it was cute, but I didn't know what you'd think. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Tavia. What? Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. Nah, Carver's evil, dude. I don't care. Why is everybody Follow sucking on, on his balls? He's evil. He, he punches little girls in the face for looking at him like that's evil. This is what people do at like 
Like, you have the most Stay evil here, manager to ever exist, Don't and then your co workers will be like, Oh, they're a good manager. They're a good manager. They like approve my time off like once every two years. Like, they are good people. Hey. Not even gonna talk to her. Don't even care. Stay curled up in a corner. Don't even care. Not even worry about you. My dad's never hit me before. Even when I was really bad. <laughs> he never hit me. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. So, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. Exactly. Yes. Carver hit me super hard. Because it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Don't mess this up. Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Tavia. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Oh, and just so you know, Phil yelled at me this morning for what you were doing last night. I'm not mad, but please, please just listen to me today. I'm on, like, the thinnest ice with that guy. Pick up a pair of those shears. Yup. Got the shears. Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? What do I look like to you? Some hey, kind of... So, is she gonna be okay? Because what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. If you don't have an opinion, you should just say so. Instead of making people wait for an answer, just like, shake your head no or something. No. Look, Phil's had it out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. I can't wait to get you killed. Don't touch me. That was awkward. I won't do that again. I'm gonna go work now. Pedophile. Look, it ain't none of my business. Nah, cause then I'll get slapped in the face. Ain't none of my business. Ain't none of my business. Keep doing my... Keep doing my work. Oh, shit. Oh, no. What? What did you do? These are only half done. Are those live branches? Clementine, I asked you to help her. Just checking in. <laughs> See how the new girls are working out. You didn't ask me to help her. Reggie. Yeah, Bell. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? Look, Bell, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy... I just have... I have one arm. Shut up, so shut up. Shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. He just did explain and it. I mean now. Bill, please, just... Sounds just... like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. We'll get it done. Just give us some more time. We just... Time's up, Reggie. You had a task, and you didn't get it done. Looks to me like you failed. We talked about this, Reggie. Didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? I... I... Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. He's such a good guy, ain't he, Reggie? He's a good guy. Carver's a good guy, ain't he? The help goes. Yeah, he's definitely killing him. 
What's wrong, Sarah? Ain't none of my business. Are you okay? I no, gave no, you no, plenty no, of chances. Please, Bill. No, 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 please. Ah! Weakness, incompetence. It puts us all at risk, and it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Bro, this is literally what it felt like. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. This is literally what it felt like working at Go. Walmart. We are at Walmart right now. Oh, hey. So, they want you to run some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion? Real simple, just take this over to them. You know, the crazy thing is, that usually redheads... Nice. I don't know what Tavia's talking about. Usually redheads are, like, What's super wrong? hot and everything, but you're kind of tweaked Clem? out. You alright? You look like you've seen a ghost. Reggie. Reggie's dead. What? What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe... Maybe it was just... No, it was <laughs> What? You see, he punches little girls in the face. Why Listen, do you think that's hard to believe? Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. I need to go find out what happened. Yeah, well, um... He hey, uh, pushed him off the I'm roof. I'm just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. Melancholy. Hey, that ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. Stupid guy. Hmm. Laborer, fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me. You ain't man. gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said, get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tell on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Yeah, this is a real help. Why don't you just worry about yourself? Get off me. You're one of them, aren't you? Just another brainwashed. What? Just another brainwashed. Get that boy, hit him with a yonker, hit him with a yonker. Hit him with a yonker. Well, oh, no more yonker time. Oh, snap. Perfectly. Oh, lag. Sledgehammer. Boy, get hit with a yumper. Seen that screwdriver back there. Yeah. Oh no, what happened? Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. 
Oh, thank God you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? He said mushy. He, he said mushy. Bro didn't even know how to talk right. It's mushy, dude. Well, time to go back. Oh. Yes. Then I got kidnapped. Bit the hell out of me. Think you drew blood. Come all this way. This is this is the welcome I get. What are you doing here? All right. Listen, we ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. And, well, that's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, they got guards watching everything. Shh. shh. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to, to get you Good. free, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. They plugged up all the holes we used when we got out. My head, you know, it's just spinning. <laughs> could could use a couple hours of sleep here. We just we just need a plan. You no know, way to get you and, and everyone. Luke. Oh, sorry, sorry. Shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Cause I I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just just one of those walkie talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. We just gotta be smart. Okay, we, we gotta plan. And that radio you know, was crucial. That. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Get out where I can see you. Go on. Get out of here. The hell were you doing? Huh? I was looking at comics. There's a whole store full of them. Yeah? No shit. You best not dawdle, girly. Pull something like that again and you'll be meeting the back of my hand. Bill Radio. Wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there now. Okay. Oh no, it's that guy. What's his name? That guy, yeah, I remember him. Dude, you better go up and see Bill. He doesn't like to wait. So, you should probably go. I'm trying to remember his name. I don't even remember his name. I hated him. Rebecca! He killed that Alvin She's guy. She's a strong woman. Surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Get in here. Alvin? Alvin! He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. <laughs> it's just, I just like saying nothing. It's just so funny to me. I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now. Why are you going to beat a child up like that? You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are. And you won't end up over in that chair. 
Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will and weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. You have to be able to contribute. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. And we're more alike than you think. No, we're not. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared. But you looked me straight in the eye. Kept your nerve. That's what we need. If we're gonna get through this, the next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way. The way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. All right, now. Bro, you there? Bro's just yapping. Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. Supper time? What's for supper? Is supper ready? Is supper ready? Is supper ready? Okay. Cause we all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is gonna do next. So you wanna ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Cause this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just gotta figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but... It does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous. Kenny, do not speak to me like that. Okay, okay, sorry. Maybe Luke could help us. He's outside. He wants a radio to help keep an eye on the guards. Thank you. That's the plan I vote for. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really loud. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just got to get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Kenny, no, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. Luke's in no shape to help us. You want to put our fate in that guy's hands, it's not happening. He did look pretty rough. You guys should take a look in the mirror sometime. Why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I 
can get behind that. Okay, yeah. so we get that turd radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. Oh my god. Actually... I ever hear you say and it's just some crazy stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me. I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Lee figured that out. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Okay, a velocity come from. Hate this lady. We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. That's my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? What? What? Come on, kid. Don't let go. I got you. Why did Mike do it? Ew, we get on a hook? This is terrible. Try to hurry, alright? I don't think they're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. They see you not in your bunk, we're all done. What's going on here? Oh, shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. <sighs> We're in trouble. That's the herd, bro. The freaking herd. Check this door right here. So you're not sure? What about how many there are? Yeah. How can I be? Look, I hope they pass by us. God, yeah. You think we're ready this time? I don't know. Bill thinks we are. Of course he does, but he thought the same thing last time. Yeah. We, we could look in and see him. Is it enough though? We'll find out if they turn this way. Yeah. Well, we're screwed. <laughs> I hate the way she's sneaking.
No, it really is Walmart. Crazy about Reggie, huh? Yeah. You think Bill? Go on. Nah, it's just I was wondering if you thought Bill maybe. Spit it out, Hank. I don't think Bill was gonna let him back in. Huh? You don't? No. Do you? I don't know. So really, no bullshit. You think we're ready? I think so. The homestead, at least. I'm not sure about the expansion. They're out there just moaning. That's what they do. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. I know what you mean. Figure we'd be used to it by now. I wouldn't figure that. You never got used to a light buzzing or anything? A little different when it's dead human beings walking around. I'll give you that one. These so people are goofy. Now? Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. Is that why you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. See, it's hard not to call some prisoners. Anyway, I'm looking at it now. I don't think we have what we need. Jesus, really? We repurposed a lot of shit to get this place built. I can't say for sure if we even had the materials before we started expanding. You can't be smoking back <gasps> here. Vince, come on. Don't give me that. If Bill smells a whiff of smoke back here, he'll flip. What are you thinking? You know what? I'm just gonna tell him. I'm not letting someone else get blamed for this. That's bullshit. That's Vince. Vince. Vince, come on. Vince. Vince is one of them that I, that I got convinced to show up here too. That's crazy. And there, then there was... I don't know. There was like two others, I think. Let's get in bed. Troy will be back any minute. Well? Got him. Everybody stay where you are. No need drawing suspicion. That was so cool. Thank you, Clem. <laughs> no problem. I told you you probably wouldn't die. Nice job. Shut up, you're not cool. You think you're cool, but you're not. And I'm gonna say nothing to you. Don't like you. Anyway, get some rest. Yeah, I was. I'd have an easier time if you, um, I, I don't know. about Duck today. About his dumb little face. First things that come to mind are always the dumb things he was doing. Kid was always running in circles. Every damn place he went, he'd just run. He couldn't stop him. Makes it harder to remember he was a good boy. Dang, well, that's it. Long day tomorrow. One long day. Why nobody sleep on a top bunk? Someone's got to get the radio out to Luke. What's the problem? We should probably figure out who's doing what before we... Time to get up. Put Daylight's it in your pocket burning. or something, they Kenny. They sleep in, all things considered. Where's my dad? He's where the rest of you are going. To work. Dude, that, that Mike guy's ear is Rebecca, gone. Nick, Sarah, Jane. If you got to take a piss, do it now. The next break won't be for a while. Troy will be coming up for the rest of you. Why just them? Like I said, Troy's coming for the rest of you. Why is he just holding the walkie-talkie? He wasn't even trying to hide it. All right, look. If we're going to do something, we have to do it now. And if Luke's all we got, and we pair up with him, I can do it. Where's the meeting? Mike. Yeah? Clementine should do it. Are you fucking kidding? No offense, but come on, that's crazy. She's a kid. Why would... There's a million reasons. 
She knows Luke. She can hide. She got the damn radio for us in the first place. Who cares? And I'm sorry, Mike, but I don't know you from fucking Adam, all right? And if I'm trusting someone to do something this important, I'm trusting her. You don't trust me to get a radio to someone? Kenny's right. I should do it. Don't do something stupid just to get some respect. She doesn't need your respect. Give me the radio. All right, little chickens. Let's get to pecking. All right. And don't think today's gonna be like yesterday. No way. No shenanigans. This rooster's gonna be surveilling your ass every second of the day, you hear? Got that? I'm afraid I need an answer, girl. No. We got it, all right? Come on. Oh, you have your pockets all out. Gonna get your tags all snagged on something. What you looking at me all sus for? Oh, let's go. Hey, she's with me? Oh shit, I almost forgot. Yeah. Well, take her then. I don't care. Wait, wait, what's going on? Never mind. Just chores of a different sort. Come on, city mouse. Can't you cut her a break? She'd really rather keep with us, people she knows. It's nothing that'll hurt her. Come on. Dang, dude. I Maybe we should have gave it to sure Mike. You're all right. I didn't believe you when you told me about Reggie. I ran and found Bill once I left you. Figured even if he had done it, he'd make up some sort of excuse. But Bill was just so matter-of-fact about it. Like he'd pulled up a weed or something. Like it had to be done. And that was just one of those moments when your blood runs cold. Goose pimples up and down your arm. Because it turns out the person you thought you knew was never there. You look anxious, Clementine. Something the matter? Yeah, I need to uh, go with Kenny. You know you can talk to me, right? I was dishonest when I first met you, but I swear on everything holy that'll never happen again. I... Uh, I need to talk to Kenny. Do you now? I can understand you're uncomfortable. I won't force you to be around me if you don't want to. Go on back out and be with Kenny. Thank you. Giddy. Y'all better hurry that shit up. I hate babysitting you assholes. Luke? Hmm. Let's let's Luke? look at this cabinet. Where is he? Whoa, I just saw that guy walk past. Luke, if you're hiding, come out. Luke. I swear to Christ you're gonna regret this. I was... You ain't supposed to be out here. Dang it. You people been here one fucking day and already you're fucking up. Well, you wait and see what happens. Move! Hey! Luke wasn't there. Wonder what happened. He probably got caught. Get over there. 
And how is it that we're repaid for our trust? With treachery? With deceit? Yeah. With theft? Whatever you were planning is over. It's done. You can't just run from your problems. You can't just up and leave when it gets tough. Because there's nowhere else you can go where it ain't. Tough is all we got now. Get that through your fucking skulls. Luke here, he can't help you now. You gotta help yourselves. You gotta help me find the strength to forgive you. Now you can start. By telling me where the other one is. I'm gonna count to three. If that radio ain't in my hand by then, we'll have to make things more difficult. One. Dang, dude. Two. It's right here. I got it. It's all right. Sorry about that. Not sure what I was thinking. Three. <laughs> Fucker. <gasps> no! Oh, God! Bro! Jesus Christ! Stop! Stop him! Somebody stop him! Troy, do just... something! No. Clementine, help you me! You have to do this, Bill! No! Stop it! Oh, God. Get me! Get me! We'll help, Kenny. Little shit. Dang, Bill. dude. That's enough, Bill! Please! Bill, there's a breach! All right, everyone come with me. Bonnie, Dang, you stick bro. around. Make sure these folks don't get into any more trouble. Yeah, okay. No supper for y'all tonight. Maybe an empty stomach will give you some perspective. And we'll try this again tomorrow. Bro. Do your best with him, Carlos. You need to get him able to move, because we're leaving tonight. We're leaving tonight. Thank you. Uh, ow. Dang it. <laughs> I got hit in the face, bro. Yeah, Kenny's all right, bro. He just got hit in the face with a radio a couple of times. I ain't never seen nobody get killed by a radio. It'd be alright. What'd she say? She said she can get us out of the pen if we can get the PA system going. Second she hears it, she'll run over and spring us. That's great. It's not great. What are you talking about? Look, I know part of this is my fault. I, I, I know. I was hungry. I got reckless trying to steal some food and I yeah, got what? caught. But... And I know this is the first time I'm hearing about this plan, but it seems risky, y'all. It seems real risky. Man, shut That's up. Pretty damn risky, guys. Man, shut risky. up. Did you see what that son of a bitch just did? Look, the plan works. Nothing needs to change. It's all set up. The hard part is done. This guy's fucking crazy. Who knows what he'll do next? Yeah, but now we're dealing with a guy beat to shit, Sarita in no shape to do anything, and I'm a goddamn mess. Look, we should rest up. Hey, we should bide our time and we should wait for an opening. Bonnie's agreeing to help us tonight. And that doesn't mean she can't do it some other night. I don't know, guys. Luke's making sense. Maybe we should wait. We're not waiting. Ain't nothing out there, guys. Trust me, I looked. There's no food. There's no supplies. They picked everything clean. I'm just saying we got to be sensible about this. Where's Kenny? Doc's over there working on it. It don't look good. What do you mean it don't look good? Look at them fingers, dude. I can't get over that. Bro's fingers. Is he gonna be okay? His orbital is crushed. I don't think there's much hope for the eye. I got him as stable as I could. Cleaned it. Got some of the swelling down. Bandaged it as best I could. But 
Until he wakes up, we won't know if there's any damage to the brain. Oh no. Rogan, <laughs> he gonna he gonna wake up and be a retard. If damn it, if y'all are serious about gold tonight, then we're gonna have to start talking about maybe leaving some folks behind. No. There is no other way. This is bullshit. Well, I don't like it either, but guess what? It's where we're at. Kenny and I are only here because of you people. And now you intend to leave us behind. So we should risk all of our lives? What are you saying? Nothing. I'm, I'm just thinking out loud here. No, we're not leaving Kenny. That's not fair. We stay together. Life ain't fair, Clem. We're just trying to make the best of a bad situation. I'll tell you what. No one wants to leave Kenny. Clearly you do. Good. Because you won't have to. I'm all right, huh? We leave tonight. Plan don't change. Not bad, old man. Thanks, asshole. You are one tough bastard. Do tough bastards get their ass kicked in front of everybody? Kiddy. You all right? That wasn't Let's your fault, it. okay? It's all right. Dude, he got hit up with the radio. All right. Well, then what now? We get the hell out of here. Like now, now. Yes. Where are we going? In case things get squirrely and we got to make a break for it, we need a place to meet up. We could meet out at Parker's Run. The hell is that? It's a Civil War site a few miles north. Tourist trap. Got signs all over. Just follow the road. We stopped there after we escaped the first time. Luke and Carlos know where it is. It's not that far. Well, at least if a few folks know where it's at, it'll be easier to find if we're split up. All right, that works. Then we just need someone to go set off that PA, right? I mean, you never bother to explain who's supposed to do that. Me. Wahoo, is a me, wahoo. Wait, wait, hold on. She's the plan? I'm gonna need a boost. I'm about tired of this, uh... to flip the switch for the outdoor speakers. Just the indoor speakers might not draw the herd. It's right on the microphone box. Right. By default, this is Luke. to play music. So you should just have to turn it on, right? Then climb back up and drop into the stock room. We'll meet you there. I didn't listen to her. Down into the office. Outdoor speaker switch. Turn on PA. Up to the roof. Down into the stock room to meet you guys. That right? Perfect. Let's see, I didn't listen to a word she said. Be careful. Okay. Clem, make sure you bring Alvin. Oh, he's dead. Alvin is dead than a mug. Carvers, Bopus. We're dead. We're bad. Dead. Dead. Oh, we gotta talk to Alvin. Alvin, are are you okay? No, he's a zombie. All right. Well. Yep. Okay, now the mic. What? What's wrong? No, 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 no! No, where are they? Yep, turn the CD and crank come on, that up. Come on. Please work. This 4th of July, make sure your backyard barbecue is complete with Howl's full line of products to meet your grilling needs. 
Yup. Alvin, are are you okay? Carver talks all the tough guy shit, then keeps the tiniest gun in the universe. There's <laughs> something funny about that. It is quite now. funny. Come on, we have to go. I ain't going anywhere, but you are. Go on. I mean to get some payback. No, we're leaving. We're all leaving. I ain't fit to move, kid. I've, I've run out of road. Man, that's sad. No, I'll, I'll just go up there and shut that thing off. You gotta get out of here. They'll be here any second. Thank you. You take care of my girls. I get the feeling it's, it's gonna be a girl. Just a hunch. Go on. <laughs> At least he killed the guy before he died you know it would have been would have been dumb if he would have uh <laughs> if he'd had the gun and just died also why did he, he that dude had a single shot from like 1352 bro like i mean what kennedy leaf blowers trying to build for us all and fucking fine want to run off with this dog shit group of crippled fucks then fine be my guest but i will put a bullet in you and that baby before i let you leave again with my child it's not yours you don't fucking know that and until we do you're not going anywhere oh no Oh my god I was trying to listen to the I was trying to listen to what was going on you know I was trying to I wanted to hear what he was now I know you just gotta jump on him I thought he was gonna do more talking you want to disrespect me fine you want to throw away the life I'm trying to build for us all and fucking fine you want to run off with this dog shit group of crippled fucks then fine. Be my guest. But I will put a bullet in you. Get jumped on. Get punched on. Get back. Get... Alright. Come on, Luke. This ain't none of your business. Clem, where... Why isn't Alvin with you? Where is he? Yeah, he's dead. Alvin. Rebecca, I am. Oh God, I am so sorry. Kill him. Rebecca, Rebecca, sweetie, my God, how did we get here, you and me? This is just a bit of a custody battle we got on our hands here. Shoot him. I want to kill him. He still got a gun. Why is nobody taking his gun from him? Go on and wait outside. We have to go. Kenny, please. What you mean, I'll please? Wait a minute. Go on. You don't need to see this. That girl's already seen more. And you can imagine. Shut your mouth, Bill. You're all just gonna let him do this? I'm not going anywhere. It's gonna get messy. I know. Look at you, you fucking ingrates. I don't even know how good you got it. That's all right. You'll learn. Laugh. 
lambs to the slaughter. I don't know why we just let this guy have a gun. Clementine knows exactly what I'm talking about. Come on. Come on, Clem. No, I'm not letting you see this. It's not your decision. Had a girl. She ain't afraid to look it in the eye. You go with that feeling you got right now, Clementine. That's what makes you stronger than Come the rest on. of them. Let's go. Yeah, go on. Let the sheep out of the pen. We'll see how long that lasts. I'll be right there. You won't see anything. That's funny, coming from you. How's that eye? Just follow my voice. It'll get you there. You got a thick fucking skull, Kenneth. Should've put you out of your misery right then. Now look at you. You're a mess. The fuck are you looking at, bitch? Don't act like you didn't love every second. Of look at him trying to... <laughs> look at him trying to squirm away. Bro, get beat on. Get beat on, get tore up. Yeah. Knocked his eyeball out. That's gross. We're not going to take his gun, though, seriously. Let's go. Yeah, that's what I was that's what I was talking about. Glad she did that cuz that's a good gun. That's a good gun right there. south they did looks like we're in the eye of it now fuck this is fucked here you're gonna need something thanks yeah whoa whoa hey better hurry up and get to smearing if you want to live or you yep. can die here it doesn't matter to me oh god do it quick we need Ugh. to be covered before the rest of them get close or we're fucked this is i'll go first you're gonna yep. put that on yourself we yep. have to sarah my okay. new jacket now you turn around it smells Gross. Shit. Everybody shut the It'll fuck be okay, up. Honey. Just stay still. Uh, are you sure? I'm sure. There's nothing to fear if you remain calm. I'll keep you safe. Hurry the fuck up. Turn around. I'll get your back. Carlos. We ain't got all day here. Everybody ready? They're almost all us. in the actual fuck is going on here? What is this sick shit? Someone say something before I start. Hey, hey, hey! Don't you even fucking think about it, motherfucker. I will end you, you hear me? Troy. Troy, we talked about this. What? The fuck you talking about? I told you I wanted to get out. You said you'd help, then I'd help. I thought you meant get out of the pen, not whatever the fuck this shit is. I did. But now we can leave. Troy, you can come with us. What? Well, where would we go? Away from here. Together. She looked like a monkey right now. I'm sorry to say it. You gotta get a bath before we... Come on. Shot him in the wiener. Got it? They might hear something they don't like. And for fuck's sake, walk. Act like you belong, and you will belong. Get over here! I need more ammo! We got this, y'all. 
We were walking. Is that Tate? Where's Bill? We need him up here. Oh, he's dead. We killed him. Look at that one's face. Clementine, come help me. Calm her down. Please, just say something. You're her friend. No, I'm not. She needs to shut up. Cause Sarah wanted to be a dumb little goofy head. Oh no. She got bit. Ew, look at it. Why is this going slow motion? She got bit on the arm. On the hand. Yeah, we need to go. Alright. Sarah's glasses. She's gonna get someone killed. If I had said I had the radio, Carver might not have been as... as vicious to... Don't ever think that, darling. No telling what that asswipe would have done to you. So how's it look? Am I still gonna be pretty when this heals? Gross. You need to get past that walker without drawing all the others. What do you, you know how do? bad it would suck? If like you had glasses and something like that happen to you because then you're gonna have like I don't know I just imagine you got an eye patch And you got glasses on like that would be Anyway Most people helped Sarah which is cringe Most of us chose to hide Luke's presence most of us tried to hide the theft. Why would we give it up? Not everybody watched Kenny kill Carver. Of course, because they're scumbags. And, uh... You and 41% of players killed the zombie that bit Sarita. Because why would I chop her arm off right there? That is not the right move. Because I had a hatchet. There's no way you're chopping that off in one swipe. First of all. And second of all, she's bleeding. She'll be bleeding really bad. So she might pass out, and then she's dead for sure. We gotta kill the zombie, get her out of there, then cut her arm off. But I'm not sure if that'll even happen, but we'll find out next time. Yeah.